Searching for reward seats can take a long time. Going from airline website to airline website, logging in, you search, you don't find award seat availability, and then you just repeat again and again. And honestly, it can get really frustrating and annoying. Well, what if I told you that there was a quicker and easier method that just takes around 10 to 15 minutes to find the award seat that you're looking for? Hey, my name is Raymond, and on this channel, we talk about maximizing value from our credit cards. And one of those ways is by redeeming free travel with our credit card points. And I'm gonna show you how to do that using the tool called seats.aero. Now this video isn't sponsored at all. It's just a tool that I've recently discovered and started using and have found to be really powerful in finding reward seats. So I thought I'd just share it with you guys today. So seats.aero is essentially a search engine for finding reward seats. You can instantly explore the available award seats across 12 major airlines, which includes both Qantas and Virgin Australia. And they are also looking to add more airlines in the future. So don't worry if you don't see an airline that you predominantly fly with on the website right now. How the website works is that it essentially scrapes data directly from the airlines themselves in terms of the award seat availability and then uploads it onto this website. It also comes with both an Android and iOS app so that you can also search for rewards flights on your phone. The base features of the website are completely free, which allows you to search for reward seats two months from the day that you're searching from. And the paid version is $9.99 US dollars per month, which allows you to search for reward seats one year in advance and also comes with some great filtering options and the ability to create seat alerts. In my opinion, the paid version is totally worth it just due to the simple fact that you can search for reward seats one year in advance, which makes planning trips that much more easier. And you could even just sign up for one month, find your reward seats, and then just cancel your membership. So let's now dive into the website to see how it all works. So the landing page of the website looks like this, and there are two main sections of the website. The explore view of seats arrow allows you to see all available reward seats from a specific airline. So let's have a look at what Qantas has on offer today. From here, you can select the regions from where you'd like to depart and arrive from. We can't select specific cities at this point in time, but we will be able to filter them out later on in the search. So let's look at departing from Oceania and then arriving in Asia. And now we can see all the available reward flights available through Qantas with those departure and arrival regions. Now, how to interpret the results that you see here on the screen? Well, the date, is essentially the date of the flight. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Last checked is when the reward seat data was last checked for its availability. And this one is quite important because you ideally wanna focus on those who have been checked recently because if it's been checked one to two days ago, then those reward seats might no longer be available. You'll need to be somewhat comfortable with airport codes or at least the airport codes from where you're departing and arriving to because all of the references to the departure and arrival cities are based on airport codes. And then the last four columns are essentially the different seat classes for those planes. And then we'll show you which seat classes are available for reward seat bookings. Now the reward seats that are highlighted in green are essentially direct flights, whereas the blue ones has connections. If you also click on the information icon on the far right hand side, then a window will pop up, which tells you more information about that reward flight. So it'll tell you the airline, the number of points that you need to use and also the taxes that you need to pay as well. At the bottom of the page, you can also search and filter on the results. So for example, if I wanted to depart from Melbourne and then arrive in Hong Kong, I would just input the airport codes into the correct boxes and then it will filter out all the results for me. All of the features that I showed you just now are available in the free version. However, with the paid version, there's also some additional filtering capability that you can overlay on top, such as only looking at direct flights only. Now the explore view will only show you award seats available for the next two months. And if you wanna look further than that, then you will need to use the search function. So search allows you to view reward flights across all major airlines across the date range that you're looking for. This is probably more of the traditional way that you're used to searching for flights. You can simply search for flights how you normally would. So in my case, I would be departing from Melbourne. And for example, let's look at flights arriving in London Heathrow Airport. You can then set your departure date as to when you'd like to depart. Once again, the base feature only allows you to see 
reward flights two months from the day you're searching. However, the paid version allows you to search one year in advance. And if you're flexible with your departure dates, you can also put a plus or minus for up to 28 days. If you're also flexible with where you're traveling to, you can also put in multiple destinations. So given that we are looking for flights to travel to Europe, let's also add in Dubai and Doha as their common transfer airline hubs. And then from here, it will show you all the available flights across all major airlines. With the pro version, you'll also have the ability to overlay some additional filters on the search results. So for example, if you're looking to fly direct or if you need a minimum number of reward seats, and this is particularly useful if you're traveling with a family or your partner. And you can also filter on specific airlines and also specific cabin classes as well. In the routes section, this essentially tells you which routes are currently being tracked for reward seat availability on seats.aero. Now, if you don't see the route that you're looking to fly to and from, then if you are a paid member, then you can actually request that route to be tracked. And I've found that they're pretty quick in adding it in. Now, one of the best features of seats.aero, in my opinion, is obviously the ability to create award seat alerts for the routes that you're looking to fly to. This is especially useful nowadays because more and more airlines are no longer following a set schedule as to when they release their reward seats. And I know this is definitely true for Qantas specifically. So using this feature, you can essentially set alerts for specific airlines for the destination that you'd like to travel to over a specific date range and then have those alerts emailed you to you or SMS to you whenever they come available. And finally, Seats.Aero also has some pretty nifty tools included in the website as well. Most noticeably, they have a Qatar Q Suites Finder to help you find business class flights operated specifically on Qatar Airways. It'll even tell you which ones have the availability for a fully flat lying bed option. And the other noticeable tool is that they have a chat GPT plugin as well. So if you have a chat GPT plus account, you can then install the plugin and then just ask chat GPT as to when there are award seats available for the routes that you're looking for. In my opinion, seats.aero is an incredibly powerful tool. They can help you find the reward seats that you're looking for, or at least set up alerts so that you're notified as to when those reward seats become available. And I do think that the pro version is worth the money. The only downside that I've come across so far is that sometimes when I go to actually book the reward seat, it's no longer there. However, you can overcome this by making sure you only focus on the flights that have been last checked relatively recently. If you are interested in checking out the website, I'll leave a link to the website down below. Now, if you do wanna travel for free, the best way is by credit card hacking. So make sure you check out this video right here where I go through an in-depth guide.